Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about what you, hold on. So as you can see, the location of my videos has changed. I am now in my normal room, I'm not in college anymore, and that's because I finished my first year of college. And so I lived in a dorm for a whole year and I think I know a little bit about what you do need and what you don't need. So that's what today's video is going to be about. What like things you should buy, what things you should just not get because they're not worth it. Um, I have in my notes here my college packing list, like what I actually use to pack for college. And I'll just be reading off of it and telling you like, yes, it was worth it or no, it wasn't. So let's just jump right into it. I have obviously bedding things. You will just get a normal like bed, so you do need to bring bed sheets and blankets and your own pillows and stuff. Make sure you bring a lot of pillows and make sure that you bring a, I don't think I have it here, but the mattress thing, what's it called? Like you know what you put under your mattress? That thing, because the beds are hard as shit, and if you don't want to get scoliosis, get something for your back. And the sun's going down, so the lighting might be like shit by the end, by the time I finish this video, so my bad. So I also put a uh, by bed storage, which is this, but I honestly didn't use it, and it was just, it ended up falling like behind my bed, and it just, it was basically trash. And I wouldn't use it here in my room, like at home, so I don't know why I thought suddenly I was gonna start using something in college. So that's a good rule of thumb. Like if you don't use it at home, you're most likely not gonna make lifestyle changes and use it in college. Um, do get a long charger, a six foot or a three foot charger because uh, you only get one connection in college. Like where at least my dorm, I only had one or two, two places where I could plug in things. And they were like all the way to the edge of the room. So definitely bring a long charger and like an extension cord or something so you can plug in more things to that thing and get more connections, you know? Um, bring a lamp. The lighting in the dorm is trash as fuck. So like a lamp is nice if you want to do homework or anything. Um, I put hamper. Obviously you need a laundry hamper for your laundry. Bring one that's easy to carry because well, at least for me, I lived on the ninth floor and then I had to go all the way down to the basement to do my laundry. So, get something that's easy to, like, has handles or something so that you can, like, carry it. Um, hangers. Lots of hangers. That's obvious. Uh, shoe rack. I had, I bought one of those things that it's like, it hangs on the, on the thing for your closet and then it just hangs down. So you can put your shoes in, like, a storage type thing. And that was super, super useful, so I highly recommend that. Um, drawer organizers, I got mine from Ikea and this like helped me a lot because my drawers were just long and for like underwear or for like shirts I used it to, to separate like okay crop tops and like long sleeves or for underwear obviously like socks, underwear and then bras. I bought, I put desk organization, I just bought containers from the dollar store, three matching ones and that was enough to put like sticky notes, a stapler, ruler, scissors, like just office supplies that you might need. Um, so also keep that in mind, you will need like, it's good to have like a tiny little stapler, um, scissors definitely, and like sticky notes, pens, like all that stuff, I just kept them in those like dollar store containers. Um, the, I put bed pillow, I didn't know what it's called, but I'll put a picture here, like that. That was super fucking useful. I hated going to the library to do homework. Like I only went if I really needed to sit down and work for like five, six hours. But other than that, I like to like type essays or stuff from the comfort of my own room in my bed. So definitely get one of these pillows because it helps like with your back and stuff. And you know, it just helps. It's very comfortable. I highly recommend it. Get one, they're not that expensive. Um, I put lap desk and they're these and I used it one fucking time. Honestly, it's just too bulky and too like annoying. It doesn't, you can't really move that much. It was a waste of money, honestly. Now moving on to the bathroom area, I have shower shoes. Please get shower shoes and please make sure that they're like a little thick. 
because <laughs> you don't want to be super close to the ground and um, I got mine from Amazon and they were good a shower caddy um, I think I have some clips from like me undoing like I filmed another video where I'm unpacking my stuff from college and I might post it I don't know yet but I did want to make like a sit down video of breaking down the things one by one but yeah make sure your shower caddy has like holes at the bottom that is easy to carry and like you know how like what stuff you use for the shower so just like whenever you're buying one just picture it and be like will all my shit fit you know like if you have a lot of skincare products then you might consider like a bigger one I don't know but don't get the plastic ones like make sure it has drainage at the bottom okay um shampoo conditioner febreze yeah febreze girl because that room is small and it gets musty and especially if you have a roommate or whatever like you know you don't know what they be doing uh you just febreze is always good okay soap i just put like soap stuff shaving stuff bring razors whatever um exfoliating things Lotion, loofah gloves, towel, contacts, toothbrush, toothpaste, toothbrush protector. This is a big one. Uh, your toothbrush is just going to be in your shower caddy. So you definitely want to get those like clips for the toothbrush so that it's not touching all your shit. Um, I just put my birth control pills, speaker. I got a shower, like a waterproof speaker, and that worked fine. It was like a tiny little one. Feminine products. And then I set a beach towel like those long towels because i did go to san marcos so we do have a river so i did want to get like a long towel for whenever i went to like the river or whatever anyways um this is just stuff that was for me i put slides to walk around in yes uh you do like want to make sure you get like um some slides or what are they called like What are they called? Or just like comfortable shoes to walk around in. Whenever you want to go to like the microwave, the restroom, whatever, you just want, like, you're most likely not going to want to like put on whole shoes. So yeah. Um, the, 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 I put oil diffuser. I have an oil diffuser here and I just wanted to make sure to bring it and I honestly didn't use it that much. But I do need to start using it because I have a lot of oils and yeah, I just need to start using it. I put planner, markers, my makeup, brush and comb, hair ties, deodorant and perfume, Clorox wipes. Yes, Clorox wipes. You're, I promise you, you're not going to want to clean that much shit. So <laughs> Clorox wipes are amazing at cleaning anything and everything. You just over any surface and it's fucking clean. I don't know how much shit I cleaned with Clorox wipes. Like, I think at one point even like the floor because like I swept it up and like I was just like, oh, okay. Um, paper towels, yes, or like just tissues, whatever. Like, um, you do need, yeah, you just need that shit. Uh, extension cords, I mentioned that er earlier. I put ethernet cable, but I never ended up getting one. And honestly, I wish I had. The internet was pretty shit at my dorm. If you just want good internet connection, definitely get one. They do have a plug for ethernet cables, so I wish I had one. Um, I put snacks. Yes, make sure you like, I guess I'll do like a whole other video of like what I bought in college, because it was like very specific things that I would get. You do need your own laundry detergent and your own um, softener or whatever. And you're like, hey, and your dryer sheets. Um, I bought those, are they called like Tide Pods? Yeah, I bought those and those were like super efficient. I, I know they're a little bit more expensive, but it was like super easy to use, so yeah. Um, I just put school supplies, umbrella, and a raincoat. I didn't have a raincoat, I just had like a waterproof jacket. Can y'all, are y'all serious? I did have just a waterproof jacket um, and that helped. In San Marcos it rains a lot. And make sure you get an umbrella, like a small one. I got mine from Ikea again. I did most of my college shopping at Ikea because they have like super good prices and super useful shit. <laughs> and um, make sure you get the ones that have like a cover over it because obviously like if it rains and you're walking to class, 
then you have to like put the umbrella up and you don't want that shit to be all wet everywhere all over your backpack so make sure you get the ones with the cover for the kitchen area of the room um i said bowls plates cups coffee mug and you just have to have like one of each um meal prep container um I would just say get a container. I thought, like I might dumbass thought I was gonna cook or something. I cooked like five times because my kitchen was ass and I just hated it and no. Um, I put slow cooker. I ended up using a air fryer. It's not allowed in your dorm, but just hide that shit, I guess. And I would get like frozen fries, frozen chicken nuggets, and then just air fry them shits and eat it. We've already established the fact that I'm dumb, so. I'm dumb and I forgot to mention that you also, well, I also recommend to get an electric kettle. Uh, so you just plug it in, put like, you can fill it up with the water fountain and then turn it on. It'll boil your water. Um, I used it to make like instant ramen or mac and cheese and all that stuff. So it wasn't necessary to go down to the microwave and boil the water and all that shit. I would just boil it, pour it in, and then it was done. And it's also not allowed. So if you bring one, be careful and hide it fridge. I put a cutting board, <laughs> didn't use that. Knife, a water filter. I did bring it but I didn't really use it which is really bad because I ended up just using like water bottles or plastic water bottles throughout the whole year. I know, sorry, I use so much plastic. My bad. But I just, I don't know, I guess I got lazy with the water filter. But yeah, bring a burrito and do the earth some good unlike me. Um, utensils obviously all you need for your dishes is the soap like a sponge or i i like to use the brush because i feel like sponges are nasty and then like a rag to dry them with i swore i was gonna cook like i brought pots pans salt pepper oil like all this shit i probably made myself some eggs like three times and then cooked something else like twice and then that's it second semester i did not touch my pots and pans for shit and that about wraps it up. Keep it simple. Keep it efficient. Oh, and I don't know why it's not here, but under the bed storage, that's like a big, 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 big thing. Because remember, you have a tiny ass room, but then you have to divide that tiny ass room in a half because you only have your half of the room. So you have to maximize your space and your storage as much as possible. So under the bed storage is a big one. I bought my things from Ikea. And then for decoration, that's another thing I wanted to mention. You have to use your own things to decorate because like I said, you don't have that much space. So something I did that I really liked was like, I put two pins, like one, two, and then a string across of them, like connecting the two pins. And then I hung my sunglasses on that string. So it looked super nice and like, like my sunglasses were on display so it gave me a place to put my sunglasses but also like a nice thing to look at so it was like sort of like decoration i also did that with my hats i put like those um what's it called oh my gosh what is it called like i have the my brain is like a rat brain or something oh shit a rat oh command hooks <laughs> i'm sorry okay so i took like command hooks and like just put them in like a row like this and I had and I just hung my hat onto them so again it gave me a place to put my hats in and also like a sort of decoration because they were like out on display all night and shit so you have to be smart with your decoration don't spend too much time too much money on that like spend like dorm shit is expensive just on your bedding alone is going to be like a hundred dollars also for your mattress pads there are some that are like two inches, I think, and those are super comfortable and like memory foam and shit, even some of them, but they can be like 50 or like up to $80. What I did, I went to Walmart and they had like, like they were like less than an inch and they were disposable and I bought two of them because they were like $10. So instead of just getting one tiny one, I just bought two. And guess what? They made two inches and instead of paying 50, I paid 20 bucks and I was comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, really be smart with your college shopping. It can get expensive. It can add up because you need to get like new towels, new everything because uh, you don't want to bring your stuff from home because when you visit home, 
you don't want to like bring your towels and all that shit like you know and then to make your college packing list go through a day in your life and be like okay i wake up brush my teeth put on my contacts do this do that do that and like start writing stuff down that way you when you're packing you know like what to bring it's um super easy and again like i said don't think that like you're gonna magically go to college and change your lifestyle if you don't use something at home you're not gonna use it in college so yeah most of the things i bought i actually used and were useful uh the kitchen stuff i didn't use that much but when i go to my apartment they will be used so it's not like i wasted my money the only two things that I like regret buying are the is the bedside storage thing because I was like what the fuck and then that like table thing for your bed because I thought I was going to be in bed like but no like that shit was annoying I would just put my laptop on my lap and go and that was it like I said I'm g I filmed uh, me unpacking my stuff from college but I wanted to sit down and go through the stuff because I feel like in that video you can't really see or like understand <laughs> But I will still upload it so you guys can like see the stuff that I talked about in this video. But yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below and follow me on my social media. I will do many more college videos and request a video and I'll film it. Thanks for watching.